probably for the last 15 or 20 years, corporations have become a lot more sophisticated in bringing things in-house. And I'd say probably 20 years ago, very few mid-cap companies had any corporate development staff uh, in-house. Now smaller companies, mid-cap companies, have corporate development in-house, and of course large companies have very large corporate development staffs in-house. So it's really more of what are they not looking for you to do rather than what they are looking for you to do. So certain things that we used to do a lot more of is we used to do a lot more deal due diligence. The bankers did a lot more of that. Now the, uh, the corporations have quite wisely understood that they need to have people do the due diligence who are going to have to live with the asset. So they bring that much more in-house. The other thing that's much more in-house is really identifying what companies to buy. So what are the things that we do that they really can't do in-house? Well, some of the things that they can't do in-house really is the capital market side of it. Uh, you know, the, the corporations are sophisticated in capital markets, but they don't get the full picture of how the market's going to react to how they do a deal. So an investment bank can bring you the perspective of what are the rating agencies going to do on the debt side, how is the debt going to trade, what are the capital market reactions going to be, uh, which is very difficult to get in-house expertise because you're really just focusing on your own company rather than the whole market. So that's one thing that you can do, and you're doing more and more uh, from, an, from an outside investor perspective.